Hello everybody, my name is Daryl and I'm the founder and CEO of Hexology. So, um, at Hexology we say, Hexology enables you to share exclusive digital media in the physical world. And so what that really means is we've built an app that enables you to compose a message and share it in the world, in this room, and so that when anyone walks into this room, they can pick up that message, whether that be a video, a photograph, an audio recording, or even a poem. Because what we envisage, we envisage a world where there's a layer of digital information all around you. So when you turn up at a new town or a place, you get instant access to a wealth of new media that people have generated. And I believe that as a result of that information being bubbling around you, around you, we would all feel more connected to our environment and our communities. And so Hexology, what Hexology does, is it enables you to find out who and what is around you simply by being there. And what we realised right at the very, very start is that there are many ways in which you can put digital information into the world. Um, if you're on Android, you can actually download a beta version of our app, our free app, and you can get started right now. But um, we've got an iOS version that's in the works coming very soon. Yet tonight, what I'm really here to talk about is HEX. And I have one right here. This little thing here. So, simply put, HEX, this device, broadcasts information to people around you. So, using our free app, I can compose a message. Store it inside the hex, and hex will broadcast it within a 25 minute radius. It's really as simple as posting a tweet, but instead of going online, the message is stored on this device. And it does this using Bluetooth without the use of the internet. So imagine I'm at a networking event just like this. What hex does is it enables me broadcast my business information to you, which you could pick up just by being in my presence. And there are literally so many use cases for HEX, from sharing a welcome message in the entrance of a shop, to sharing specific information that's relevant to patients in the hospital waiting. And the applications go broader than that. You can use HEX as a Bitcoin wallet. You can turn on a house lights, unlock a car, um, or even turn on lights when you're going into a room. Um, yet, HEX can be used in disaster relief situations where there's no, you know, destruction, force majeure, knocks out the internet, where you can use HEX to store information in places such as patient records. And where there are many hexes in a location, hex can be used as a shadow mesh network. And I'll give you an example of that. If there's a hundred hexes in a space, one person can post one message in one place and it can post carry that message to other areas in, in that network. Yet this is the thing. At Hexology, we're really focusing on empowering individuals. For example, a large museum might, you know, such as the VNA, you know, they might engage a specialist company to design and fit a bespoke interactive installation. <coughs> Yet this is something a small, independent museum might not be able to afford. Yet with Hexology, an individual can create narratives, create shared experiences just through the app and through the Hex device. So Hex 
shares information with people around you, but it also connects you with people you don't yet know. I may use Facebook, Twitter, or a text message to communicate with my friends, but how do I make contact with people I've not met yet? I may live with someone I really need to meet, and I pass them in the street every day, but how would I meet them? It's hard to talk to strangers in a city, but Hex enables you to reach out to anyone that is in proximity. So, Hexology puts this technology into your hands. So free app, this device will be sub $30. So that musicians can broadcast their media to their fans. Event organizers can broadcast a program of events as they arrive to the customers they arrive at a venue. A skateboarder can share their YouTube channel to videos of their tricks to others around them. And that is just the tip of the iceberg of what we do at Hexology HQ. Hex can break the ice. It puts online information in the real world. It gives you a snippet about me, about you, that enables us to say hello. So we're planning a Kickstarter to bring Hex to market. Please sign up to our newsletter at hexology.co and follow our launch. If you're on Android, you can download the free beta version of the app right now from the Play Store. And I've even published this um, slide share at the front door. So when you're walking out, you can pick up this message using Hexology. Thank you. I think you know what's happening now. Questions? Okay. Has anyone tried to hack it yet? <laughs> Not yet. Um, we have got some, what we call garden wall kind of security on there. Um, Encryption is the best way of preventing people from accessing information. <laughs> um, I was quite interested to understand, you know, if you want to put your personal information onto, onto something like this. So I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, like care homes, for example, if you have medical issues, that kind of thing. Um, what kind of security do you have around sharing information with people you want to share information with, and perhaps those you, you don't? Yeah. In that sort of, you know, X metric kind of thing. So, I've mentioned the garden wall security that we've got on the hex, so, but there are some moderation features also. Um, inside, uh, basically to, to connect with the hex, you actually have to have an API built into the app that you're using. And in our app, what we have is a facility that allows people to, uh, to invite people to post. So you have a choice. I can say I'm publishing that information, and then I can say I'm publishing that information, but I'm also going to allow other people to post into it. Um, in further iterations of the app, what we'll do is we'll make them private and then invite communities to them, so you can invite them by email address. But these are kind of client-side features. On the, on the embedded software side of things inside the device, we've just got a couple of little kind of fail-safe routines which we've built in that are basically a, a, a couple of like command lines which say, I give you permission to do this, I do not give you permission to do that, and they're, they're built into the hardware. Hello, yeah, I'm Israel. Um, why a necklace? Because what we really want to do is we want to put it on people, give, it, give them a small, low-power device that you can put on your key ring, in your pocket, in the bag, and carry it around you. There's a visual, there's an LED in it, so it gives you a visual cue when someone's posted in. Um, 
and it's it's a really it's a mascot it's it's a mascot for what Hexon G is. Okay, hold on to the questions for now. Um, so that's the end of the individual pitch sessions and questions.